third in all races, won at least twice. I don't even think this race is fucking possible. That was a 114, 115, which that's not good enough. Yeah. I, I really don't think this race is fucking like even. I couldn't fucking qualify for it yesterday either. Cause that turn right there, <clears throat> that turn right there is just fucking impossible. And you lose so much time because of it. And you got like two other turns that are just really hard to make without hitting anything. So you gotta pretty much come to a crawl to make these turns. Yeah, 115. Still not good enough. Fucking turn, man. Every time. One oh seven, that might actually be good enough to qualify. Thank you. 
<coughs> Alright, those are much better laps. I got a 105 and a 107. Alright, yeah, that was apparently good enough to qualify. I should get it first. I love that, dude. I gotta fucking slow down to make that turn. Dude just blows right past me. And I made that turn as tight as you could fucking possibly make it, dude. It was all the way on the fucking right side. Started of turning immediately. Still can't fucking make that turn nearly as quickly as computer can. I got a wreck or something because he was just kind of sitting there. for my starting lap, not bad. Oh, come on.
Uh, 107. <coughs> That's really annoying, I haven't sneezed like all day, right as I start streaming and only 12 minutes in. Fucking sneezing in my nose is bothering me. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? I'm in second. That guy that just passed me is in first now. How? I was driving like really, really well. What the hell? Okay, so apparently he got past the other guy, but like it didn't look like he did. I love how I was driving as well as I was to take a pit, and it's like, oh well, guess what? You're in second now, fuck you. And I guarantee I won't be able to catch up with this guy. Nope, nope, there he is. Again. Just takes that turn ridiculously slow, which is weird, because usually that's that's one of the things that pisses me off this game, is how fast a computer can take turns. But that turn, the computer fucking just comes to like a standstill. Which I guess I should have just how ridiculous it turned is that even the computer it was like to almost complete stop to make that turn. Alright, one more lap. 
Get this fucking track over with. Car really fucked me. That's an insanely tar hard turn to make, and that car is like right in the line that I was going, so I kind of had to veer out around them. Yeah, it's already hard enough to make when you're trying to go as tight as possible. You go super wide to avoid a car. It's, yeah, it's a pretty fucking impossible turn. One oh six. Goal in your ranking first. Mexico, then after that it is what, Spain? No, no, after that. It's Mexico, Brazil, Spain. And this one's a massive straightaway to start, and then a super hard right. Go up the hill, ready to start coming down. And this turn starts. That's all I remember about this track. Ooh, I like this track. I like the tracks where it's just constant turn, turn, turn like that, because I feel like I'm doing something. Compared to just like a massive straightaway and a huge turn. One oh seven. I didn't even bother to look what time I needed to get. Fuck me. Try to take that way too sharp. Way too fast. Oh, that was another 170 with that wreck. <clears throat> oh, 
first place. I'm starting my turns like way too quickly. Someone's driving into the fucking signs. Yeah, I needed a fucking 109. I kind of crushed that. Alright. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Try to pass me. Damn it. I gotta pass me. I gotta pass me. I gotta pass me. Fuck you. <clears throat> no, I'm in first. I just need to hold on to that. I, I really hate having to deal with cars in racing games. Because I feel like they make the tracks hard enough in uh, older racing games. And then having to deal with the cars in front of you just... That's qualifying time, and that was with having to go from zero to max speed in bumping into the back of the car. Apparently, you made that first turn without braking.
Ooh, 101. Fucking fuck, dude. I saw it coming, I was like, my brain just like, I don't know what to do here. So I just ran right into him. I managed to apparently steer right in front of that guy enough where he actually like ran into the back of me right after I passed him. This. We got a little bit of a straightaway and a massive right turn. Turn that right turn to the pit. I need to make sure I slow down enough to hit the pit. And big right turn. And pit coming up. Boom. I get first here, this will make the next two races easier, because then I just gotta get third. This game's just ridiculously easy, because I think the worst place I've actually gotten other than did not finish is second. So as long as I don't wreck out of a race, the worst I do is second. I think that's part of the reason why I'm just so bored of this game, is because it is so damn easy. I mean, it's just so repetitive. Ah, <sighs> 
two more. Eight fucking hours of this game so far. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> There's some Game Boy games that I wish were a lot longer because they're they're good games and enjoyable. And there's some games I wish were just non-existent. Stop yawning. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat a dick, motherfucker. Necessary vulgarity. Because fuck that car. Stingy with that turn, all I had to do was make a turn. I'm gonna wait. Win the race. That was a bad finish though, 101. Brazil. One hundred ninety-seven. Has there been an Olympic since the uh, one in Brazil? Said that, right? I feel like that was a while ago, the Brazil one. Then again, I have no idea how often they do Olympics, so.
Oh, this is a fucking easy track. No hard turns at all on the, uh... Just turn right as you see the fucking turn signs. Easy peasy. Man, I'm not that damn tired either. That's the bad thing. Ooh, 58.94. Boom. Boom. I feel like it takes forever to retire yourself. I feel like you should just be able to hit, like, start. Like, yeah, I want to retire. I feel like my uh, track time is good enough. The game's like, alright, sure, whatever. I'm happy with that. I gotta finish the lap by now. As I got that 58, as I like, do, that's good by a fucking mile. Holy crap! Look at that. 11 fucking second difference. Not even close in any form of the word. Ha! <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Fuck off, dude. Fuck. I right, that was my fault. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Um, not really hard. There's some tracks that are difficult. Like, um, the start of this four set is South Africa. And it's a hard track. I feel like it might actually probably be the hardest track in the game. And it's the last track that you do. Um,. After that is Mexico, which was like the sixth track you've done. Then Brazil, which was like eighth or something like that. And then after this, I got Spain, which was around like 10 or 11 or something. So this set of four, the only new track is South Africa. But I feel like it's probably one of the hardest ones. Brazil, the one I'm doing now, is super fucking easy. You don't have to slow down at all. It's hold down the A button, and whenever you see a turn sign pop up, just start doing the turn. You'll make the fucking turn. That's why I just got a 58 something during qualifier. Um, the track before this was Mexico. Mexico is really easy too. Right at the very start, you have, you have a big turn, but if you position yourself correctly, and start turning at the right time, you can make the turn without slowing down. Even if you do slow down, you can make every other turn without ever slowing down, so you want to crush the computer. That's actually one thing I was just complaining about. Um, this set of four, I have to win, I have to c complete all races in at least third while winning two. I already got first place in uh, Mexico and South Africa, so these next two races all I need is third place. But I was complaining, if I actually finish a race, because there's been a few times where I've wrecked too many times and 
retired out. So I get DNF, you know, did not finish. If you don't add those into the mix, the lowest place I've gotten in a race is second. I've not finished below second place on this game. So it's not really difficult, just really lengthy. Because the, um, the qualifiers for every single fucking race is four laps. So there's, I think this is like my fifth set of four. So there's 20 races there. And then four laps per qualifier. So there's 80 laps just for qualifier. And then add in fact that most races are around like seven laps. And then uh, the, I think, third set of races I did, had the, whatever set had Canada in it, I, when I was going through those, um, I had to complete all the races, and one of the races right before I finished, I wrecked and retired out, but the game allowed me to continue. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe I just read it wrong or something. I continued, did the fourth race, and then it told me game over. So, I wasted my time there. Then I was going back through that set of races again yesterday, and my game froze, or BGB crashed. So I had to do the, sec the second set of races, or third set of races, I can't remember which. I had to do that three times yesterday. Well, I guess more like 2.5 times. So that added quite a bit of time as well. But long story short, because I mean, you asked a pretty basic fucking question. No, it's just a really long game. So why does it? Okay, this bothers me because I, I I noticed it does this. Yesterday when Deku was talking. His name is, like, green, but when he subbed, it slightly changed color just for that one sub message. In your name, when you said that first, that first message, your name was, like, a really, really bright red. Now it's kind of like a meh red. Like, you know, it's got, like, it's a faded red. Why does Twitch do that? I know that probably sounds really weird, what I'm talking about, but, like, that's just how it looks on my screen right now. It's just bothers me. <clears throat> like, the first message is like, oh, nice and bright. But no, yeah, the game is just ridiculously long. That's I was actually just complaining about that, too, because there's some games that are okay being lengthy and I have no problem with, but there's other games where they're just... They shouldn't be this long. It wouldn't be, like... I don't know. It wouldn't be that bad if maybe I wasn't doing, like just sitting here for hours doing it. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad, but... The bad thing is you gotta do... You gotta complete whatever objective they set for the four races, and then you get a brand new password. So even if you were playing this game on a Game Boy, you'd still have to do <coughs> the four races in whatever restrictions that they set for you, and then write down, like, a 70 character fucking password. So I, I imagine this would be a horrible game to have if you were a kid as well. Because the password is just unbelievable. The first one is dark for me, and the second one is red. That's, what the hell? That's, that's really weird. Yeah, because Deku, yesterday, when he, like I said, he sent... He was just talking for a while, and then when he subbed, the message he had when he subbed, his name was um, just like a brighter shade of color, and then it went back to just the regular green that he had. I'm like, I don't know. It's one of those things that just every time I see it, it bothers me. after this race is Spain, which I don't remember Spain either. 
just need third, so I don't, it's not like I need to crush that race, I just need to do well enough to not retire out. And that's one thing that sucks too, is like, I wish, okay, here's what makes no sense about this game. After every single race, you get points based on your placement, right? Those don't fucking matter at all. I'm not even exaggerating. They do not matter in the slightest. Which makes zero sense. Because, like I said, every set of four races, you have a goal that you have to adhere to to pass that set of four and get a new password. So, like, the points that you get for whatever position you finish don't matter at all. Because it'd be better, like, instead of this saying, hey, finish every single race and at least third with two of them being first place. If it said something like, hey, get, like, I think first place is 20 points, so get, like, 70 points. That'd be so much better, because then I could get, like, three first places, which would be 60, and then I could get 10 just maybe like fifth or something, you know, so like it'd be a little bit more lenient on you. So if you had one bad race, you could still make it up on the other three. Instead of, hey, get two firsts, the other two have to be at least third. And then we got a point system for your placement in the race that means nothing. Right here, 30 points. So that's 10 points per first. So I just don't know why they just even bother having that point system there. If you have a contract that you have to follow, you'd have to you have to adhere adhere to it with time. I don't know. Whatever. Now we got Spain. <clears throat> 1875. Definitely not 1875. One of Alright, please be an easy track, just so I can get this game over with. This should be the last set of four. I assume that, I say that just based on the fact that, uh, like the little picture that it shows right before you join this, before it shows the contract. Yeah, that's a tight turn. Just the, like, the little picture it shows, plus the fact this one's, you know, top three in all four, and win two. And the fact that I'm actually out of races now, or out of tracks. South Africa was the only new one this time around. Nope, this isn't an easy track. Fuck. Any track I actually have to slow down for is not an easy track. 
because then I actually have to like learn the uh, track a little bit. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna fucking retire out if I keep driving like this. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna fucking retire out. That's not gonna be good. I don't know if pitting and repairing everything actually helps. Every not tire out, that's what I'm hoping for. This, like, I was just in there saying though, I don't know if you, when you just joined in grand, but I should be finishing up here soon. I'm on, because it keeps giving you races in a set of four. I think this is my last set of four. Because if you go into like the training mode, you can look at every single track, and uh, there's, uh, there's like 13, I think. South Africa is the one by itself that doesn't have like three new races. And I started this set of four in South Africa. And then I did uh, three. I did Mexico, Brazil, and now Spain, which are all tracks I've done before. Oh my god, dude. I need to fucking pick it up, though. I need to do ten seconds faster. I need to go ten fucking seconds faster to qualify. <sighs> Fuck. I'm not gonna qualify and I'm gonna be pissed. I don't know what turns I can take sharp and which ones I can't. Yeah, but, I mean, this game's so fucking easy, I've not, I haven't needed it this entire time. I'm just really fucking struggling with this one. Yeah, there's always one fucking turn that gets me. Oh shit, dude, I, I gotta fucking destroy right here. I don't care if I fucking am in last. I just I just need to qualify. Come on. I'm not gonna fucking qualify.
wasn't even fucking close, dude. Fuck this game so much. I'm so confused what happened here. I'm so confused. Well. Because this is like a new set of races. But these are tracks I've already done. And I failed out of what I was supposed to do. I'm so confused. Hey, well, I'm just gonna go and load that save state because I'm not putting that password. I'm gonna go back to what I just failed. At least third in all races, one of these twice. You got America, Brazil, San Marino, Mon Monaco, Canada, Mexico, French, <laughs> French, British, German, Hungary, Belgium, Italy, Portugal, Spain, Japan, Australia, and South Africa is what by itself. It's like the only one that doesn't fit in a set of four. And then this set of four I'm doing now is South Africa, and then a mixture of some, and then I have, I have no idea. I don't know, I'm so fucking confused with this game. Cause like, it's gotta end eventually, right? Oh, shit, my car is... whatever. Yay, I get to do all the fucking races I just did again. Somebody fucking shoot me in the brain. Oh, fucking hell, dude. I hate this game so much. Just one bad fucking... And the bad thing is I got first. First on the other three races. First on the other fucking three races, and then didn't qualify for Spain. Well, fuck you. so unmotivated to play this game right now. Unbelievable. They made this... <clears throat> the bad thing is this is fucking Ubisoft. That's what really kills me. This Ubisoft. Like, look at this shit. Ubisoft Entertainment Software. How the fuck do they make such a goddamn fucking travesty of a game? It's really starting to get to the point where I'm even wondering if this game has an ending or if it just, they keep fucking giving you goals and make you keep doing the same fucking races over and over and over again. <laughs> now we get back to South Africa, which is such a bitch of a trap.
Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I give up. I made a save state right before I did Spain. I'm, I'm, I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm done with this game. We're save stating. This will be another game that I add to the list of games I've save stated through. Eight and a half hours is just fucking way too long. Especially, like, and it's made even worse by the fact that I just spent, like, six hours or something on, like that on Road Rash. I'm just so fucking done with racing games at the moment. Especially bad racing games that are way too fucking long for no reason. And I don't even know, the bad thing is I don't even know if this game has an ending. That's what's really making me want to save state. I really don't even know if this game actually has an official ending if it just goes on forever and just keeps giving you random fucking goals and more races to do. I need to figure out what these bad turns are, so I can be prepared for them. What, three, four turns? There's some turns your car just has no problem doing, there's other turns where you just gotta come to a fucking crawl. So there's four turns. Turn three. Turn four. Eleven. And twelve. Yep. So three, four, eleven, twelve of there are the turns I need to worry about. There is enough. Three, four, eleven, twelve. Fucking ridiculous, my god, dude. It makes no sense, because if you go based on how long I just did that turn, I just did, like, a complete, like, fucking donut. You know, like, those massive uh, spiral turns, like, getting on the freeways and all that shit? That's pretty much what I did right there. Six. Seven. Eight. Look at that! Like, how does that even make any fucking sense that I'm holding on to the brake, letting go of the gas, and I still am just flying all the way out there and hitting shit? That's, that's what really pisses me off about this game, is they give you these turns where your car just has like zero fucking traction while making turns, and you just, all you do is just slide right out there and hit shit.
That's a left turn. I was thinking it was a right turn. I mean, look at that, dude. I wasn't even going fucking 200 miles per hour as I started that turn. I still had to fucking slow down that much. Now, 110 might be qualifying time now. I just need third place. That's all I need. I need to qualify and get third. Hopefully the game ends. If not, I think I'm just going to drop it. Honestly, if I finish this race and the game doesn't end, I'm probably just going to drop it. Because I don't know if it does fucking end. And I'm not going to keep trying to find out. If somebody later proves that it does end, I'll fucking come back to it. But... Alright, it's a left turn. Left turn, left turn, left turn. Yep. Even with me knowing that, even with me starting that turn early, even with me slowing down, I still fucking hit shit. Game, I'm going 160 miles per hour around that fucking turn. My car can't make that fucking turn, and it's really not designed to fucking be on the goddamn road. Shit, my fucking 2005 Nissan Altima can make that fucking turn at 160. Let me just go all the way down to a hundred miles per hour to make that fucking turn. Are you shitting me? Look at this. Like, see, that's what pisses me off about the turning mechanic on this game on some of these turns. Is no matter how slow you go, you just keep drifting out to the fucking side. I almost came to a complete fucking stop and my car is still just... Just slowly fucking drifting out there. Like, that, that's just a horrible fucking game mechanic. Oh, fuck you, dude. I don't really mind this game until I get turns like that, then I get pissed off, because just how are you supposed to make that fucking turn? Yay, my sleep schedule's fucked. Yeah, mine's going to be really messed up here soon, too, because next weekend my family's going to be in town. Nice to see you guys can make these turns so fucking easily. Assholes. Alright, man, well, you have a good night's rest. It's 4.44 a.m. for you? Oh, that sucks. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, car. Right turn, left turn, left. Right here, right turn, left turn, big left turn. Are you fucking kidding me? I even dropped a hundred fucking miles per hour. I went down a hundred miles per hour before the fucking turn even started, game. Never let... Dropped a hundred fucking miles, hundred miles per hour before the turn even got there. Let go of the accelerator and I still couldn't make the fucking turn? Are you shitting me? These turns are so fucking broken, man.
Like, I don't know how they decided to program them, but they fucking did a horrible job with it. Eh, let's make these turns just fucking impossible. They have to come to a stop. Because that's exactly how I have to do every turn in real life, too. No. How did Ninja Kid? Uh, Ninja Kid was good. The big issue with it was, uh... Oh, I do wish it was V-Rally. V-Rally is hands down one of the best fucking racing games. I One of the best old school racing games I've ever played. Because Road Rash, like I was complaining about Road Rash because you would hit those little bumps and go flying across the road into a tree or telephone pole. Because you had no indication whatsoever that there's a fucking little bump there. V-Rally did that. V-Rally just was a good game. Because the driving just didn't feel so like unbelievably easy and generic. Whereas like, oh you gotta turn right, you just hold right. You know what I mean? You were constantly having to fucking slow down, and it didn't feel like this game does when you have to slow down, where it feels like your car just keeps drifting out no matter what. Because that's exactly how this game feels. It feels like this game just keeps drifting out no matter what. No matter how slow you go, if you hit one of those turns where you're just designed to fucking float all the way out to the edge, you pretty much have to like drop all the way down to like 50 miles per hour to be able to make a fucking turn. Belez and Dubol were fucking beasts. Wait, what? Look at this. Look at this. I mean, that turn, I started that turn at, like, what, maybe 150? And I still had a fucking slam on my brakes to come to a complete fucking stop to be able to make that fucking turn. Like, what in the fucking shit is that? But yeah, Ninja, Ninja Kid, uh, yeah, it went okay. The big issue was, uh, I bought an item called Thunder Punch at one point in time. Don't buy that. Well, I mean, you'll know what, like, it, see, look at this, look at this. I have to come to a complete stop to make this fucking turn, and then that dude just goes flying past me. And that's another reason why I get pissed off at these turns, because I have to come to a fucking crawl, and they just, boom, right past me. Like, dude, what's this guy slowing down for? Um... The thunder punch is exactly like the fire punch, and like it just shoots out like uh, an animation from your fist, but instead of it being fire, it's lightning. And um, the big issue with the thunder punch is it doesn't do damage; it just stuns them. So I bought that, went broke. Thunder punch sucked ass, so I had to sit there and farm forever. So it's not, it's not, not a good time. Oh my god, dude, get out of my way. Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that. See what I mean about how poorly this fucking turn is program? I was going maybe 150 miles per hour because I hit that guy twice. I still had to fucking slow down. Can you imagine a turn like that in a race where, like, the cars seriously just have to pretty much stop? Like, you're just in the middle of watching a race, and then the cars pretty much just stop turning to make a fucking turn. Like, they stop moving to make a turn. And then all of the fucking... This is the thing that probably pissed me off the most about this game is the pit stops. They put every single pit stop in the middle of a fucking turn. The problem is, the only way you can make a fucking pit stop is to pretty much come to a complete stop to be able to actually get into the pit. It's like, oh, you want a pit? Well, you better fucking stop your car so it can actually move over enough to get into the pit. Because every single racetrack I've ever seen in my life, the pit stop is in the middle of a massive fucking turn. Not on a fucking straightaway. No, 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 no. I've never seen a pit stop in the middle of a fucking straightaway before. It's always in the middle of a massive turn. Oh god, Ubisoft, you made such a poor game. Idiots. Racer ramp. Dude, this game is fucking horrible. It really truly is. Also, add on the fact that I'm currently save stating now, PBL. I've gotten to that point where. Because I just did. You get a set of four races, and then after you, you complete this for. Like, you get, like, a certain goal that you have to follow. Then after you complete this for, you get a new set of four. And I'm down. Now I'm down to the point where. 
I'm out. I'm doing races I've already done before. My tracks I've already done. I'm just repeating them now. And I don't know if I'm even fucking close to the game. So I got first place in the three races in a row. And then... Pit, thank you. I got first place in three races, and then I lost. I didn't qualify for Spain. I made a save state before. I was like, fuck it, dude. I'm just using the save state. I'm gonna do this race. If it gives me a new set of four races, I'm gonna be done with the game. I'm just gonna call it. Because I don't even know if this game fucking actually has an ending, or if they just keep giving you random goals and four new racetracks to do. Because I think, like I said, I think there's like 13 racetracks, and they, I'm just redoing racetracks I've already done. I guarantee I'll call it quits, because I guarantee after I'm done with this, it'll pop up and be like, hey, guess what? Even though you keep doing the goal, we're gonna give you fucking new racetrack. We're gonna give you new races. I guarantee you'll probably fucking find the credits. I have no problem coming back to this game. Somebody can prove to me that the game ends. I already said that. I'm gonna call it quits, and if somebody can prove to me that the game actually has an ending, I'll come back to it and finish it up, exactly like I did with How Wrestling. But at this point in time, I'm just so fucking done with this game. I just, uh... Almost nine hours on this game, dude. Nine fucking hours on this game. And I got really burnt out, burnt out and pissed off on Road Rash, so that's not helping to my, uh, not helping with my anger levels when it comes to this game. <laughs> Look at that, 130 miles per hour. I had to come to almost a fucking stop to make that turn. Is there, like, I can't even remember how Tasmania's story is. Like, what did it do? Just, like, um, re-loop right after you did the first, like, the first set of loops or whatever? Is there actually a credit of Tasmania story? Because if so, I will go back and do that one. I'm not excited about it, but I will go back and do it. Okay. Awesome. Well, I guess I gotta go back and do that. That's the big issue with doing this challenge is, uh... You make up goals on your own because a lot of games just don't have endings. And then you go and find out that some games actually do have endings, so it's just random shit. Tasmania story, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult of a game, so I'm not too concerned with it. I just remember it, it kicked my ass for a little bit, but... Yeah, TMR, like, a lot of people actually have, like, their goals listed in their, um... Google Doc, like, BBC, I guess Belfit Gaming now, he has, like, his goals listed. My goal for every game is just pretty much get to the credit screen. If there's a way I can get to the credits, I feel like that's beating the game, is when you get the credits to appear. Because that's usually how most games end, is like, you know, pops up and, hey, Finn, or the end, or whatever, and then like, credits. So that's usually, it's like, okay, I'm done. It's like a definite ending to the game. Then you get games like Jack Nicholas Golf, when I did that. I just did a random fucking golf course. Uh, I did Jack's Favorite. I did all those, and then it's like, well, I guess I'm done. Because there wasn't like a tournament option for me to beat a tournament. When I did Jack's favorite, I wasn't like playing up against anybody. Yeah, like, if you don't, wonder if it's still Jack's favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that kind of sucks, if you don't, some games are just really ambiguous, and like, with, um, 
I already forget the name of it. Tasmania story. With that, for example, I mean... It's always nice to have it listed what you did as a goal because... Oh, I didn't even know it had an ending. Alright, this race is done. Second, all I needed. Go in. Yep. And it just continues on. I don't. And the bad thing is, all these races, because I've already gotten to this screen when I failed out last time, so I actually didn't even need a save state. That save state I did in that race I just did of Spain again, I didn't need to do all that. Because for some reason, even though the goal was at least third in all races and finish at least finish uh two of them at least in first like win, win two of them that was the goal i um didn't qualify for spain but it still got me to this point so how's that make any sense that i actually failed one of the races i'm like fuck it i'm save stating i end up doing the race i didn't need to it actually i it, the exact same spot i was before so screw it i'm calling it if anybody can actually find out if this game has an ending or not, I'll do it, maybe. 